For several years now, I've been wanting to get into uh, some rock carving. And uh, while doing my AmeriCorps uh, Vista year in uh, Tucson, Arizona, uh, a perfect opportunity came about. Um, this uh, high ropes course is um, managed by uh, 4-H, and I worked for um, Pima County Cooperative Extension 4-H, and uh, particularly it's managed by Elizabeth Sparks. And um, so at this ropes course, uh, it uh, has gone incredible uh, um, renovation and uh, beautification process in the past year and uh, done completely by volunteers by the way and so there are those rocks uh, several uh, even boulders there as you can see and um, one of them was particularly caught my attention because it was sort of in the shape of a Gila monster that is a uh, um, kind of like a semicircle and so I would my initial idea was to do the hill monster with the truck, but before I started, I decided to try something out first. And my first uh, sort of a sculpture was this, um, you know, hopefully you can figure it out what it is, but if you can't, it's a fish. And uh, the idea for with the hill monster and with the fish was that the rock is already sort of in the shape of something. And uh, in this case, it was a um, fish, and the other one was a hill monster. And so this, I kind of like just made some adjustments here and here, even though detail was already there kind of, and then made some, you know, elements that hopefully identified as a fish. And um, the Gila monster uh, and the fish and my next projects are done uh, only by hand, no uh, elec electrical, electrically powered tools were used all done with a chisel, hammer, and a pick. And um, so, yeah, during the video. The work began with this rock, and Ginny drew a Gila monster on top of it. Some design had to be changed a little bit, and um, it was time to get to work. Now I'm going to start outlining the head of the uh, Gila monster uh, in part because not that everything else is done uh, uh, but in part because uh, my uh, tool that I usually could use here to take out to take off some rock is going bad and the energy is not really going in down here when I hit it it goes somewhere else it's as you can see it's bended and um, so I have to use only the pick The pick is a very good tool to use um, to outline the rock and to outline the shape of whatever you're carving and then uh, take off some of this rock. But it won't be very smooth as you can see over here, it's not, um, it's pretty bad over there. And so, but uh, f to, to start with, it's, it's a very good tool. So I'll see you at the end of the video probably, enjoy the show. Okay. 